Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 11, Constructions. So we will take a look at the second type of construction. This is construction 11.5, wherein you need to construct a triangle ABC given its base BC, base angle B and the difference between, uh, difference of other two sides. So the other two sides would be AB and AC because one side BC is already given. Now obviously when you are considering the difference, you have two cases wherein if you have triangle ABC, right? See BC is the base angle, you have triangle ABC. So either AB will be greater than side AC or AB will be smaller. The length of AB would be less than uh, the length of side AC. So let's consider the first case where AB is greater than AC. This means since AB is greater than AC, you will have a length AB minus AC given. Right? So, because we have been given the difference of other two sides, since AB is greater than AC, that means the difference between AB minus AC is given. So, how do we construct this? Let's start with drawing the base. So, you are going to draw your base. So, I will say this is my base BC. I will mark my angle. So, the first step is done where we drew the base BC. Then we will draw our angle. B So this is our required angle B let this be as marked as X so XBC is the required angle the second one and then we will take the length AB minus AC equal to BD and we will cut an arc over here like this so this length over here BD is equal to AB minus AC and I will join D to C. So once D and C are joined, I am going to draw the perpendicular bisector of DC. So how do we draw the perpendicular bisector? Take more than half the length of DC and cut arcs on either side of DC. Right? Let's mark the point of intersection of these two arcs as P and Q. So you have P and you have Q. Let's join PQ which will be the perpendicular bisector of DC. extend this line and let's extend this line as well we mark the point of intersection of so I'm just rewriting this as X this is your angle X right now we will mark the point of intersection of BD extended X as A and the perpendicular bisector of DC as A ok now let's join A to C So ABC is your required triangle. So how is ABC your required triangle? Let's see the proof. A lies on the perpendicular bisector of PQ of DC. Right? Therefore AD is equal to AC. Let's mark this as 1. And also you have BD. Is e see, take a look at BD. BD is what? AB minus AD. Let's mark this as 2. 
Therefore, instead of AD, what can I write? AC. So, BD is equal to AB minus AC. Right? And I'll say from 1 and 2. So, what we had originally done is we had taken this length BD equal to AB minus AC. And after our construction, we constructed triangle ABC such that eventually we got BD is equal to BD is equal to AB minus AC. Therefore, I have triangle ABC as my required triangle. And the steps for construction. You draw base BC and angle B. And mark this angle B as angle XBC. Then take length AB minus AC and cut an arc BD on XB such that length of BD is equal to AB minus AC. See, so AB minus AC here is the length that uh, the length that we are taking into consideration is already that's given. We have not yet drawn triangle ABC. So you must be wondering why are we proving that AB uh, BD is equal to AB minus AC? Because we have taken the length, but we need to prove through construction that it is justified, right? So the third point, then you join CD. Then you draw perpendicular bisector of CD and you call this perpendicular bisector as PQ. Let BX and PQ intersect at point A. Then you join AC and this therefore you get triangle ABC is the required triangle. So please take a look at the construction and the steps as well as the proof for this triangle where you, we took into consideration AB is greater than AC. Now let's move on to the second type of construction where you have AB is less than AC. I'll let the proof stay for now over here. So you have AB is less than AC. This is case 2. Right? AB is less than AC. So you get AC minus AB. Correct? Because we've been given the difference of the two sides and AC is greater than AB. Therefore, you will get your length as AC minus AB as the difference. So let's go ahead and write the proof, uh, do the construction. So I will draw my length BD, BC so this is my base BC and I will draw my angle, base angle B and I will call my base angle as XBC so this is the required angle and what I will do is I will extend this side XB on the opposite side. Now I am going to take the length AC minus AB and using B I am going to cut that length on the opposite side and I will call this point as D. Now after doing this I will join C to D. So 
so I have joined CD now I will draw the perpendicular bisector of CD so how do you draw the perpendicular bisector same method take more than half the length of CD cut arcs on either side using C and D as the centers one at a time Let's mark the point of intersection of these arcs as P and Q. So you have point P and you have point Q. Let's join PQ. And this point of intersection of PQ and DX as A. This point is A and you will join A to C. Now since A lies on the perpendicular bisector of DC, I have AD is equal to AC. So the same proof can be followed. And triangle ABC is your required triangle. So which was your base angle? Your base angle was this. So angle ABC is the given base angle, BC is the required length and you've been given the difference. So this is point D and you've been given the difference of AC minus AB. So AC is greater than AB. Okay, And this is the proof the same way AD is equal to AC, agreed? AD is equal to AC because A lies in the perpendicular bisector of DC. You have BD is equal to BD is equal to AD minus AD minus AB. So AD is what? AD is equal to AC. So AC minus AB. So this is the second case. AC minus AB. Therefore, triangle ABC is the required triangle. And now let's go about writing the construction. So the construction will vary slightly. Draw base BC and angle B. Then you extend XB on the other side. Take length AC minus AB and draw BD such that B lies on the line segment DX. So D needs to lie on the extended line of BX, right? Then join CD and draw perpendicular bisector of CD let this perpendicular bisector be P, PQ then let DX and PQ intersect at point A right then the seventh step is join AC Therefore, triangle ABC is the required triangle. So, please take a look at the steps, the proof and the construction. Thank you for watching this video.
Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.